now today we discuss the topic of the constants and which are involving in the algebraic equation of coordinates and this constants is called holonomic and another is non integrable in nature it is called non holonomic constants let us discuss that first classes of constants so there are two classes of constants that means constant may be distinguished as further two classes constant may distinguish into further two classes that means which constants we say in the earlier classes that is not we distinguish another type of classifications which type of classes is this first one is this the this constraint can be expressed as an algebraic equations involving in coordinates simply involving the coordinate such constant is called holonomic constants such constants are called holonomic constant and the corresponding system is called holonomic system we find from holonomic constant the corresponding system is holonomic system now on the other hand there exists a larger classes of constants which are non integrable in nature and certainly not expressible as an algebraic equation involving in the coordinates such constant is classified as non holonomic constant so we are getting another constant that is non holonomic constant which are adverse to the all conditions of holonomic constants and it is non integrable in nature and we find also corresponding the system subject to the holonomic constant is non holonomic constant is non holonomic system so we find non holonomic system corresponding to non holonomic constant now let us define and let us explain with the help of some examples for example one we consider for a simple pendulum
the equation of constraints are x square plus y square equals to l square and z equals to z, sorry yes z equals to zero where l is the length of the string and the pendulum bob is restricted to switch restricted to swing in the xy plane so here it is clear the constraint is holonomic and as well as it satisfied the constraint of scleronomy so we find here the two constants so we find here two constant number one is constants are it is called holonomic and scleronomic if however the length of the pendulum changes with time due to seasonal effect we have a time dependent or renomic constant why is called renomic if if we consider the length of the pendulum changes with time due to seasonal effect then we have time dependent constant that is renomic constant renomic constants now let us consider another example to analyze everything clear let a rod of length L connect two particles on a plane which moves in such a manner that the velocity of the center of the rod 
is in the direction of the rod according to the problem the constraint equation constraint equations are apart from z1 equals to z2 equals to 0 x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square equals to l square x1 dot plus x2 dot divided by x1 minus x2 equals to y1 dot plus y2 dot by y1 minus y2 where x1 x2 x2 y1 x2 y2 refer the coordinate of the end points of the rod here we find a non integrable differential constraint implying that the system under consideration is a non-holonomic one. Now, if we are taking another example that the volume of a gas confined in a box of length ABC is subject to is subjected to the unilateral constraint zero less than equals to x less than a zero less than equals to y less than equals to b and zero less than equals to z less than equals to c and it is clear the constraints are not holonomic there is no algebraic expressions here is non integral then we can find that is all satisfying the criteria of non holonomic system so it is non holonomic
now is here are the many examples we find for the holonomic systems and non holonomic systems we have demonstrating only few and let now we we'll develop the kinetic energy in holonomic system in the next classes and we are going into the virtual work and de alembert principle which plays a key role in developing the system of classical analysis thank you